Senator Harris. <clears throat> uh, Attorney General Sessions, you have um, several times this afternoon uh, prefaced your responses by saying, um, to the best of your recollection, uh, just on the first page of your three pages of written testimony, you wrote, nor do I recall, do not have recollection, do not remember it. So my question is, for any of your testimony today, did you refresh your memory with any written documents, be they your calendar, written correspondence, emails, notes of any sort? I, I attempted to refresh my recollection, but so much of this is um, in, a, in a wholesale campaign of extraordinary nature uh, uh, that you're moving so fast that you don't keep notes. You meet people. I didn't keep notes of uh, my conversation with the Russian ambassador at the Sir, Republican convention. I'd like convention. to just talk about well, you, what you did. You know, I'm notes. just saying I didn't keep notes on most of these things, and there's Will nothing for me. Will you provide this committee with the notes that you did maintain? As appropriate, I will supply the committee with documents. Can you please tell me what you mean when you say appropriate? I would have to consult with uh, um, lawyers in the department who um, know the proper procedure uh, to before disclosing documents that are held within the Department of Justice. Attorney and General I'm not Sessions. able to make that opinion today. Sir, I'm sure you prepared for this hearing today, and most of the questions that have been presented to you were uh, predictable. So my question to you is, did you then review with the lawyers of your department, if you as the top lawyer are unaware, what the law is regarding what you can share with us and what you cannot share with us, what is privileged and what is not privileged? We discussed the uh, basic uh, parameters of testimony. I frankly have not discussed documentary uh, disclosure rules. Will you make a commitment to this committee that you will share any written correspondence, be they your calendars, records, notes, emails, or anything that has been reduced at any point in time in writing I will, uh, to this committee where legally um, you actually have an obligation to do so? I'll commit to reviewing the uh, rules of the department and as uh, and when uh, that issue is raised to respond appropriately. Did you have any communications with Russian officials uh, for any reason during the campaign that have not been disclosed uh, in public or to this committee? Uh, I don't recall it, uh, but I have to tell you, uh, I cannot testify to what was uh, said as we were standing at the Republican convention before the podium where I spoke. My, my just, question is uh, only as I don't have the detailed memory of that. Okay, as it I'm relates to your knowledge. To Did you have any communication with any Russian businessmen or any Russian nationals? I don't believe I had any conversation with Russian businessmen or Russian nationals. Are you aware of Although any communication? A lot of people were at the convention. It's conceivable that somebody sir, sir, came I up have to me. Just a few well, you let me qualify it. I, if, you, okay. if I don't qualify it, you'll accuse me of lying. So I need to be correct as best I can. I do want you to be honest. And I'm not able to uh, be rushed this fast. It makes me nervous. Are you aware of any communications with other Trump campaign officials and associates uh, that they had with Russian officials or any uh, Russian nationals? I don't recall that. And uh, are you aware of At any this moment. Are you aware of any communications uh, with any Trump officials or did you have any communications with any officials about uh, Russia or Russian interests in the United States before January 20th? No, I may have had some conversations, uh, and I think I did, uh, with the general strategic concept of the possibility of whether or not Russia and the United States could get on a more harmonious relationship and move off the hostility. Uh, the Soviet Union did, in fact, collapse. Uh, it's really a, a tragic you, strategic Thank event you. that we're not able to get along before, better than Before we are being today. sworn in as Attorney General, how did you typically communicate with then-candidate or President-elect Trump? Would you repeat that? Before you were sworn in as Attorney General, how did you typically communicate with then-candidate or President-elect Trump? Um, I did, did not submit memoranda. Uh, I did not uh, make formal presentations. Did you ever communicate with him in writing? I don't believe so. 
And um, you referred to a longstanding DOJ policy. Um, can you tell us what policy it is you're talking about? Well, I think most cabinet people, as the witnesses uh, you had before you earlier, those individuals uh, declined to comment because we're all about conversations with the president. Sir, I'm just asking you about the DOJ policy you referred to. policy that goes beyond just the attorney general. Is that policy in writing somewhere? Uh, I, I think so. So did you not consult it before you came before this committee, knowing we would ask you questions about it? Well, we, we talked about it. The, the policy is did based... Did you ask that it would be shown to you? The policy is based on the principle that the president... Sir, uh, I'm not asking about the principle. I'm well, asking when well, you, you would be asked the these question. questions and you would rely on that policy, Chairman, did you not ask your staff to show you the policy that would be the basis for you refusing to answer the Chairman, majority of questions that have been asked should be allowed to answer the question... Senators will allow the chair <laughs> to control the hearing. Senator Harris, let him answer. The Please do. Uh, Thank you. We talked about it, uh, and we talked about the real principle that's at stake. It's one that I have some appreciation for as having spent 15 years in the Department of Justice, 12 as United States <laughs> Attorney, and that principle is that the Constitution provides the head of the executive branch certain privileges and that uh, members, one of them is confidentiality of communications. And it is improper for agents of any department of, of uh, any departments in the executive branch to waive that privilege without a clear approval Chairman, of the president. I have asked and that's the uh, situation this we're in. For a yes or no, did you ask? Well, so your the staff answer is yes, I policy. consulted. So did you ask your uh, staff Senator to see the policy? Expired. <laughs> Apparently Senator not. Cornyn. Thank you. Senator King. Mr. Attorney General, thank you for joining us today. I respect thank your you. willingness to be here. Thank you. You testified a few minutes ago, I'm not able to invoke executive privilege. That's up to the president. Has the president invoked executive privilege in the case of your testimony here today? He has not. Then what is the basis of your refusal to answer these questions? Senator Kane, the president has a constitutional... I understand uh, that, I'm but the president hasn't asserted it. Well, I'll you said you don't have the power to assert the power of executive privilege. So what is the legal basis for your refusal to answer these questions? I am protecting the right of the president to exert it, assert it if he chooses. And there may be other privileges that could apply in this circumstance. Well, I don't I don't understand how you can have it both ways. The president can't not assert it. And you're, you've, you've testified that only the president can assert it. And yet I, I just don't understand the legal basis for your for your refusal to answer. Well, what we try to do, I think most cabinet officials, others that you questioned recently, um, officials uh, before the committee, uh, protect the president's right to do so. If it comes to a point where uh, the issue is clear and there's a dispute about it, uh, at some point uh, the president will either assert the privilege or not, or some other uh, privilege can be would be asserted, but. Uh, at this point, I believe it's premature uh, for You're me to... You're asserting a privilege uh, the president. Uh, you've testified. Deny, it'd be premature for me to deny the president a full and intelligent uh, choice about executive privilege. That's not uh, you, you, necessary you at this point. You testified a few minutes ago that, quote, we were asked for our opinion. Who asked for your opinion? You mean... That we were... You testified we were asked for our opinion. You my understanding is... Um, I believe I'm correct in saying the president uh, has said so. Uh, that so he I, didn't I, ask you directly. I thought you were asking about the privilege. So no, no, I'm you sorry. want to go back to I'm the, saying uh, you, uh, you said, "quote We were asked for our opinion." You, you and Mr. Rosenstein. I believe that was appropriate for me to say that because I think the president. No, I'm said, just asking you. I'm just who saying asked why you for your opinion. Yeah. Who asked you for yes, your opinion? Yes. Right. The president asked for our opinion. All right, so you just testified as to the content of a communication to that the president. That is correct, but I believe he's already revealed that. I, I believe I'm correct in saying that. That's why I indicated that when I answered that question. But uh, uh, if he hasn't, and I'm in error, so you I would have uh, uh, constricted his constitutional right of privilege. That, so you're, you're being, correct. You're being selective about the use. No, I'm not intentionally. I'm doing so only because I believe he made that 
In, in any he's, of your discussions with the President about, about, about the firing of James Comey, did the question of the Russian investigation ever come up? I cannot answer that because it was a, a communication by the President, or if any such occurred, it would be a communication that he has not waived. But he has not asserted the executive privilege. He has not asserted executive privilege. Do, do you today. believe the Russians interfered with the 2016 elections? It appears so. The intelligence community seems to be united in that. But I have to tell you, uh, Senator King, I know nothing but what I've read in the paper. I've never received any detailed briefing on how uh, hacking occurred or how information was alleged to have uh, influenced well, between the campaign. The, between the election, there was a memorandum from the intelligence community on October 9th that detailed what the Russians were doing after the election, before the inauguration. You never sought any information about this uh, rather dramatic attack on our country? On no, you never, would, you never asked for a briefing or attended a briefing or uh, read well, the intelligence reports? You might have been very critical of me if I, as an active part of the campaign, was seeking intelligence relating to uh, uh, something that might be relevant to the campaign. I'm not sure that I'm would I'm not talking about the campaign. I'm talking about the, what the Russians did. You received no briefing on the Russian active measures in connection with the 2016 election? No. I don't believe I ever did. Let's go to your letter of May 9th. You said, based upon my evaluation and for the reasons expressed by the deputy, was that a written evaluation? My evaluation was an evaluation that had been going on for some months. Is there a written evaluation? I did not make one. Uh, I think you could classify Deputy Attorney General Rosenstein's um, memorandum as a an evaluation, uh, one that, um, uh, and he was the direct supervisor of the FBI director. And his evaluation was based 100 percent on the handling of the Hillary Clinton emails, is that correct? Well, in a number of other matters, but uh, I, as I recall, but he did explicitly lay out uh, the errors that he thought had been made in that uh, uh, process by the director of the FBI, I thought they were cogent and accurate and uh, far more significant than I think a lot of people have understood. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.